How to register for classes at Cypress College. First, go to My Gateway and log in using your student ID number and My Gateway password. The My Gateway portal is linked in the top navigation on the homepage of the Cypress College website, or type in mg.nocccd.edu. You should see a Steps to Register for Classes panel in the main widget section on the right of your My Gateway homepage. You may need to scroll down to see it, and you can move it up by clicking, holding, and moving your cursor so the panel is more easily accessible. Every semester, you are required to complete the brief VTEA or Vocational and Technical Education Act survey before you register for classes. In the Steps to Register for Classes panel, click the VTEA survey link to open it in a new window. Complete the survey, then be sure to click Submit and continue to registration when finished. Next, search for your classes. If you have completed an ed plan with a counselor, open DegreeWorks to know which classes you should register for. Use the updated searchable class schedule by clicking Find a class in the Steps to Register panel. Browse semester course offerings and write down the five number CRN for each specific class section you'd like to take. We recommend writing down several backup classes in case your top choices are full or waitlisted. You may also search for classes by clicking on Register for Classes in the Steps to Register panel. On the next page, click on Register for Classes, select the term or semester you're registering for, then select Cypress College and type a subject, course number, and or keyword to narrow your search. Once you've identified the courses you'd like to take, if you haven't already clicked Register for Classes in the Steps to Register panel, do so now and select the semester you're registering for. Next, click on the Enter CRNs tab at the top of the page. Enter all the CRNs for the classes you'd like to register for, then click Add to Summary. Note, if you are registering after the semester has started, you may be prompted to provide an ad authorization code. Please see the How to Use an Ad Code section for more information. Review your schedule in the Schedule panel on the bottom left. You'll need to scroll to see the whole day. Ensure each course in the Summary panel is listed with the desired action. In this case, it should say Registered Web or Waitlist if you are adding a full class on the waitlist. When you're ready to complete registration, you must click Submit at the bottom right of the page. If you do not complete this step, you will not be registered for classes. Did you receive an error when submitting your schedule? The following are the most common errors you may see and how to address them. Time conflict. Two or more courses happen at the same time or have an overlap. You must select a different class or class section. Prerequisite not met. You may not have completed a prerequisite course. Meet with a counselor for assistance with prerequisite clearance. Co-requisite required. Some courses have a co-requisite class that must be taken at the same time, like Math 150PC and Math 50C. Add the link course to your summary. Closed class. The class is closed. Join the waitlist, if available, or select another class. Authorization required. An ad code is required for this class. Reach out to the course instructor to request one. Note, counselors are unable to provide ad codes. More information about ad codes is available in the How to Use an Ad Code section. Once you've added all your classes, confirm that the course status is green and lists registered or waitlisted. If it says pending, you are not enrolled. Once you've registered, pay for your tuition and fees by returning to your My Gateway homepage and clicking on Pay for Classes in the Steps to Register for Classes panel. Here, you may also add optional fees like parking and associated students' benefits. You may pay in full or set up a payment plan. You have now completed class registration. If you need to make changes, use the Register for Classes link in the Step to Register panel to add more classes or manage your registration in existing classes.